Rich Gasparri. I'm here in Edison, New Jersey at the Apollo Gym. We have Mark Alvisi here. I'm bringing Mark here just to get to know him, get to know his training philosophies. Hopefully I can give him some of my tips, old school tips as well. And we're gonna just annihilate uh, 2009. Let's get started. Judgment Day. What's the first exercise for back? Well, we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with a high row today, and uh, keeping the reps, you know, pretty much in the, the anywhere from 10 to 12 rep range. Uh, you know, getting a good warm up, and then obviously, you know, moving into some good heavy working sets. I usually like to do three to four working sets. I definitely like the high row as, as well. It's a good width exercise as well as a thickness exercise. Yeah, I really like it. You can really feel the contraction of the muscle. Uh, again, I always want to iterate it. You know, I really try to train for the feel of the muscle. With whatever muscle, muscle group I'm training, I always try to really feel the muscle contracting and work. Exactly. You can almost like visualize it. And I think you can really pinpoint growth um, if you really focus on the muscle you're trying to train. Instinctive training, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Um, after that, we're going to move to the seated cable row. Okay. Uh, I really like this movement because it's a movement where you can pile on a lot of weight on the, on the machine and uh, you know you can pull a maximum amount of weight, you're in a supported position and I believe it's a really good mass builder mm -hmm. uh, you know, under good form and you can really pile the weight on there and, and uh, it's worked well for me. And you can use different grips, uh, obviously we used uh, the, the hands facing each other but you right. can do different types of grips well, as yeah, well. You've got the versatility of being able to yeah. go on the overhand, under the hand, you know, different different type of grips uh, just to get a little bit of a different angle or a different feel in the muscle. Cool, uh, I agree. Okay, Mark, so far I'm getting a really good pump in my back. Um, what's next? Okay, what we're gonna do now is uh, the Smith Machine bent over row. Uh, I like using the Smith Machine because it's a little bit more controlled. It's a little bit easier to control the weight when you have that plane of motion. And that way you can focus on uh, just that contraction in the muscle at the top of the rep and uh, not have to worry so much about balancing the, balancing the weight. I definitely agree. I mean, the bent barbell row is a great overall thickness exercise anyways, and then doing it on a Smith machine is just isolating the back thickness, the back width the whole time, and, and like you said, that reverse grip is just a different feel in doing the movement. Right, and I mean, you know, sometimes I'll do overhand grip, sometimes I'll do reverse. Cool. Again, you know, it changes from time to time. I think you always have to keep your, your muscles guessing. Exactly. Uh, your, your muscles are gonna get used to doing the same thing over and over again, so I think uh, just to keep it fresh, you know, you might do six weeks with overhand, or you know, you know, at a time, or maybe like from workout to workout, switch it. You know, switch it. I, just, I mean, that's what I did. I mean, I always constantly change my workouts, workout to workout. I mean, you always want to trick the body into growing. Uh, the next move we're going to go to is going to be the um, reverse grip cable pull down. Okay. Uh, this is a movement that uh, I think is uh, again just a different angle. You know, you go for you know more lift here. Um, you can, it's a little bit more of an isolation where you can really feel the squeeze. Uh, this is a movement where you can, you know, go heavy. You can go light. It just depends. You can you can play with it a little bit and just really feel the contraction of, of the lats and, and, and the muscles I, in the back. I agree with you. Uh, reverse grip pull downs is a great exercise also for the isolation of the lower lats. Yeah. So it gives you that look when you're doing that lat spread of your lats just coming out right. like an airplane. Exactly, just exploding off of your waist, you know, so you just get that, that V taper. Hey Mark, that's a great exercise doing the reverse pull downs. I don't know if you ever tried it, I mean we had the bar on it already. It's actually this bar with your hands facing each other. It works both ends of the exertions, actually the top, end, uh, top part of your lats and actually the bottom end of your uh, lats. So. Uh, We'll do this, yeah. Good. Yeah, a little What's bit of it? a different feel. Good, good. A little bit of a different feel. Okay, Mark, now that we just uh, devastated our back, uh, what's the last movement? 
Uh, we're gonna finish up with, uh, with my FST7 movement, where we're gonna do overhand uh, cable uh, bar, straight bar pushdowns. And uh, this is gonna be a movement where, um, where we did with, was seven sets of 15 reps and only resting 30 seconds in between each set. Okay, I, yeah, I guess what we did was more a, a push down or pull over with a bar, with a bar, with a straight bar. Yes. So it just gives you that constant tension, um, which I did feel with it the whole time. It was just my lats just felt like they were getting more and more blood in them. Yeah, the whole point of it is just to really uh, increase that pump and, and really get that pump in, in the back and, and push as much blood into that muscle as possible because you'll stretch, you'll stretch that muscle sheath and you now you just engorge the muscles of their blood. No, definitely. Great workout. Oh. Whoa, that's seven sets. That was a tough workout. Yeah. Great back workout. Uh, I have to tell you, it was felt really good. Um, in between sets, I know it's hard when you're doing the seven sets, 30 second rest, but in between sets, you know, always stretching out the, the lats. Um, you said you've done that as well. Uh, posing that back yeah. is really important. Uh, front lat spreads, back lat spreads, because it's all what you're going to portray yourself on that stage, on that day, is going to make a difference. Yeah, I always like to pose uh, in between all my, all my exercises, uh, whatever muscle group I'm training, I like to pose in between sets while I'm waiting to recover from the set. I Beautiful. think it increases um, your density and your, and your hardness of the muscles. So when it comes time to die down and get the contest shape, you have more condition or Definitely, I agree 100%. I mean, I made posing as part of my regiment into going into a show, which I posed more and more, held the poses more and more, and it made a huge difference in how my physique looked. Absolutely. Well, that was uh, workout number two, and we got a big day tomorrow with all the rest of the body parts. Yeah. So I guess it's time for dinner. It's time to go eat. Good.